John Yao Media. Today, some girls from all over the Midwest are at the longest running car show in America to compete for pinup glory and some amazing prizes. Uh, so thank you for joining us on such a beautiful day. Uh, we really hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, we do need a little help from you guys though. This is a very difficult thing to do to come up on stage and put yourself out there. So we're going to need you to cheer as loud and as long as possible for all these wonderful contestants. Uh, they're giving it their all up here, so let's, let's be as friendly as we can. None of this would be possible today without your host, Jenny Rosewater. Jenny is a professional pinup with years of experience in the vintage lifestyle scene. She has a passion for hot rods, victory rolls, and girls in pretty dresses. She works to build a community where women of all shapes and sizes can feel beautiful and proud while having the time of their lives doing what they love. Let's give it up for your host, Jenny Rosewater. Thank you all for coming. This is going to be my last year running the contest. I know. So it has to be extra special. So make sure you guys are here to cheer for everybody to the max. So you've been doing a lot of pinup contests, right? You've done quite a few. Why don't you show us your favorite on stage pose? Nice. See, that's how you win a pinup contest, people. Now I'd like to introduce our judges. First up is Kincaid. Kincaid is the main man behind Classic Rock 1033 WGLX, rocking your weekday afternoons. His hot rotting pops and classy and sassy mother instilled a love of classic cars and pinup culture in an early age, and he's carried it through life, incorporating pinups into his tattoos and the art around his very loud house. Thanks for being here, Kincaid. Next, Miss Vivica LaRue. From Milwaukee, Wisconsin, she's enjoyed attending car shows as long as she can remember. She spent most of her childhood summers traveling the Midwest with her family, showing off her dad's 49 Ford Custom. The Iola Car Show is full of those memories that she holds close to her heart. Vivica also enjoys exploring our great state parks in Wisconsin, laughing out loud and living in the moment. Thank you, Vivica. And our third judge today, Miss Cherry Devine. She had the honor of being Miss Iola Blue Ribbon 2023. If you heard last year, you saw her crowned Miss Iola Blue Ribbon. She's a career woman and a pinup who has passed her expertise on to four pinup babies. As a mom of nine, she knows how to multitask and has found her calling in pinup. She loves all things vintage, from the classic lines of her favorite car, the 1957 Chevy Bel Air, to the exquisite styling of the hair, makeup, and dresses. Cherry holds several pinup titles, but is most proud of her title as Miss Iola Blue Ribbon. A tear in for Miss Cherry Devine. All right, so how this contest works, if you haven't seen it before, there are three rounds to the pinup contest. In round one, we're gonna meet every contestant on stage and see some of their best pinup posing. In round two, the top 10 scoring contestants will be called back up on stage to answer questions about themselves. And in the final round, the top five scoring contestants will be back on stage to answer one more question and give us their best effort to be crowned the next Miss Iowa. And the last thing before we start, uh, we want to talk about our sponsors. None of this would be possible today without our sponsors. Uh, first and foremost, Working Class Publishing, the major sponsor, sponsor of today's kind of contest. Uh, they are providing prize books for the winners. Uh, the top three contestants will be each given a book by Shannon Brook, an author in the Working Class Publishing Library. Uh, she is a renowned photographer from the West Coast who specializes in a contemporary pinup and art style photography that I personally love very much. Uh, so please check out her books over there. Greg's Speed Shop provided backstage refreshments for all the contestants. Uh, Robert Summerlin Art. Uh, by the way, I'm Robert Summerlin. Hi everyone. Uh, I'm an artist from Stevens 
Art Wisconsin. Uh, the top three contestants received an original art print by me. Modern Vixen Vintage has provided raffle prizes for the contestants. And Glitter and Chrome, they make specialty glitter eyeshadow and nail polishes, which has been provided to all the contestants in their gift bags. So let's hear it for our sponsors. All right, let's get this underway. Our first contestant, meet Coco Ovaltine, hailing from Bern, Sweden, by way of Wapaka, Wisconsin. She is the proud heiress to the Ovaltine fortune, enabling her to live a life of sweetness that rivals Willy Wonka's wildest dreams. By day, she's a certified nutritionist, specializing in vitamin deficiencies. By night, she showcases her expertise as a baker and a chocolatier. Standing at six feet tall, she's a living testament to the benefits of milk, and her sweet nature has been known to make others' teeth ache in the best way possible. A touch of chocolate has the power to improve everything, and the opportunity to participate in the Miss Iola pinup contest is an indulgence beyond compare. Let's hear it for Coco Ovalty. Our next contestant, Dino Daisy, is a loving mom of six wonderful children. While her weekdays are spent as a line lead at a cheese factory, it's her free time she truly looks forward to. If she's not out enjoying family time at car shows, buying rare plants, or exploring random fish stores in Wisconsin, she can be found helping her husband build rat rod wagons and strollers for the kiddos. She loves being part of this wonderful community and looks forward to sharing her happiness, smile, and cheer. Thank you, Dino Daisy. Next up, Casey Jo Rumble. From Marshfield, Wisconsin, where she helps people walk through walls as a machine operator for a door manufacturer. She spends her free time losing to her boyfriend in the great Wisconsin pastime of bar dice, but then whooping his ego, ego back into shape by kicking his butt at Mario Kart. Relationships are about balance, after all. Casey attends Iola in the memory of her grandfather, who came to the car show every year. Her stage name is inspired by his 1935 and 36 Ford Coupe Rumble seats which were the favorite cards in his collection. Thank you, Casey Joe Rumble. Next up, Miss Roxy Nova. She comes to us from New Holstein, Wisconsin. She's a learning and development specialist who loves riding her motorcycle, going to car and bike shows, checking out flea markets, fishing, and kayaking. Don't let her glamorous looks fool you. She loves going mud running and competing in demolition derbies and won't ever let fear keep her from following her dreams. Let's hear it for Miss Roxy Nova. Our next contestant, Theta DeSade. She's joining us from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She's an event coordinator and art model who loves to dance and write everything from scripts to skits and poems. She hopes one day to be a professional playwright. Her love of muscle cars brought her to the stage in her fully thrifted outfit, inspired by Smokey and the Bandit. Jared for Theta DeSade. Our next contestant is June the Virgo. June the Virgo is your favorite fashion doll come to life. Don't let June's glamorous looks fool you. This fashionable funny girl has a heart of gold and loves to make everyone laugh. An import model from the Far East, this dame drives domestic. It was her papa, a former Chevy factory boss, who instilled a great love for vintage cars. Originally from the Battleborn State, Nevada, this bi-coastal beauty now resides in the Show Me State of Missouri and hopes to show you why this Silver State starlet deserves the gold. Give it up for June the Virgo.
Next up, Miss Lacey May comes to us from Portage, Wisconsin, and is very excited to take the pinup stage for her very first time today. She's a full-time mom who enjoys crocheting and baking and has a passion for singing that led her to audition for both American Idol and The Voice. Her smile is as sweet as her song. Let's hear it for Miss Lacey May. Our next contestant is Darling Avonlea May. She's just a small town gal with big dreams, working full time as an environmental paralegal by day and a car building enthusiast with her husband by night. She enjoys the pinup lifestyle and has made so many amazing friends along the way. They just finished their 1957 Chevy Stepside truck and can't wait to move on to the next one, her dream car, the 1949 Mercury. Give it up for Darling Avonlea May. All that glitters is not gold, it's Goldie Frox. Goldie hails from Ottawa, Illinois, where she can be found swinging her handmade frocks around the dance floor. She began sewing her own vintage wardrobe eight years ago and has been chronically overdressed since. Her other hobbies include hoarding vintage sewing patterns, buying fabric she doesn't sew, and then claiming she has nothing to wear. This is Goldie's fourth frolic on the Iowa stage, and she's delighted to be back amongst all her Iowa friends. Thank you, Goldie Frox. Our next contestant, Lotus Elise. She's originally from Nevada, but now calls Bryan, Wisconsin home. She's a mechanic who likes to spend her free time restoring classic cars, including her own 1967 Firebird. She enjoys all things pinup and is thrilled to be here at the one and only Iola Car Show. Thank you, Lotus Elise. From La Crosse, Wisconsin, Bunny Baxter is a mother of nine and a grandmother of one. She previously ran an old-fashioned toy shop with her husband and kids, but now enjoys spending her time at home doing mom things, or can be found treasure hunting at local thrift stores, clog dancing, and volunteering with the USO. She is a Jane of all trades, having tackled every major home improvement project from bathroom renovations to building additions. Miss Iola is the first contest she's ever entered and hopes to inspire her children to face their fears and achieve their goals. Thank you, Bunny Baxter. Back for her third time on the Miss Iola stage is Sunny Sidup from Rochelle, Wisconsin. When she's not strutting the stage, Sunny works at the fabric department lead at Hobby Lobby and spends her free time gardening, kayaking, and splashing in puddles. Interesting fact about Sunny, she wanted to be a nun when she was growing up. Also, she loves making friends with animals, including recently befriending a bumblebee in her front yard. All right, give it up for Sunny Side Up. Hailing from the land of extra O's, Oconomowoc, Wisconsin, Miss Chaos. She's an auto parts provider and certified makeup artist. She can help you find your parts, get them installed, and fix a full Thanksgiving dinner with all the trimmings, all with her hair, makeup, and nails on point. She thinks the Iola Car Show is the best car show around and loves being here in the heart of Wisconsin. Let's hear it for Miss Chaos. Our next contestant, Cora Betts. She's not ordinary, she's extraordinary. Miss Bett has been around cars her whole life and fell in love with the first rev of power and sound of the strong V8 engines. Miss Bett has many favorite classics, including the 69 Mustang and her namesake, the 1956 Corvette. With bright hair and colorful tattoos, she's sure to stand out in a crowd and get your attention. In her daily life, Cora is a full-time therapist 
lifting up and helping people of all ages with their problems. But on stage, you can't help but love the attention that being a pinup brings. So rev those engines loud for Coravette. From nearby New London, Wisconsin, Cherry Pistol is a mortuary science student and a funeral home apprentice who loves car shows, traveling, concerts, and dancing. She's been attending the Iola car show as long as she can remember and is beyond excited to walk the Miss Iola stage with so many amazing women. She hopes to carry herself with as much grace and confidence as her pinup inspiration, Betty Page. Let's hear it for Cherry Pistol. Hailing from the land of beer, brats, bowling, and bubblers, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Lacey McGillicuddy is a hairstylist who spends her days making the world a little more beautiful one person at a time. By night, she helps to raise money for veterans with Party Girls pinups. She's a crafty pinup who paints and makes flower hair pieces, and her favorite color is glitter. She once won a Lucille Ball Lookalike contest, which was a kick because Lucy is her idol. And in case you're wondering, folks, she's single. Give it up for Lacey McGillicuddy. Our next contestant, Sadie Something, has been following the second start of the right since the day she was born, with a whimsical spirit and wearing her heart on her headline. Her love for vintage happened long before she knew it was even called vintage. Grandma just always had the cool stuff. Sadie loves spending time with her Prince Charming, growing her wild cottage garden, and celebrating unique souls. Thank you, Sadie something. Next contestant, Little Luna Lily. Hails from Watoma, Wisconsin, where she works as a barber and loves styling men's hair. When she's not brandishing her shears, she enjoys chasing chickens with her daughter and spending quality time with her family. She's been strutting the Miss Iola stage since the very first contest eight years ago and values the community of women she has met along the way. Lily says it's the way they support and empower each other that keeps her coming back year after year. Give it up for little Luna Lily. And our final contestant, Sweet and Spice. Coming originally all the way from China, via Austin, Texas, and most recently a graduate of Lawrence University in Appleton, Wisconsin. Currently a research assistant and scientist in training, she hopes her time on the Miss Iola stage can make her stand out on her med school applications. Fun fact about Sweet and Spice, she was born on Leap Day and just celebrated her sixth birthday. Celebrating the vintage style over home, Sweet Anne is wearing a Ki Pao, popular in China from the 1920s to the 1960s. Give it up for Sweet Anne Spice. Alright, let's meet our first round of contestants one more time. Give it up for the pinup contestants, round one, everybody. particular order. The round two contestants are number three, Casey Joe Rumble. Number six, June the Virgo. Number eight, Darling Avonlea May. Number nine, Goldie Frogs. Number 
13, sunny side up. Number 14, Miss Chaos. Number 15, Corvette. Number 16, Cherry Pistol. Number 17, Lacey McGillicuddy. And our final round two contestant, number 18, Sadie something. All right, let's hear it for the rest of the contestants as they head backstage. Thank you again, ladies. All right, these questions come from a list of five questions that were prepared in advance. Uh, they'll be asked at random among the remaining contestants. So let's start. Number three, Casey Joe Rumble. Casey Joe, yeah, a little car show's theme this year is meeting of the muscle. In your opinion, what was the most iconic muscle car and why? Drink it nicely. The most iconic muscle car that I can think of comes near and dear to my heart. It was my mother's 1968 GTO. She loved that car dearly. And unfortunately, she had to get rid of it because there were some circumstances with her husband that she had to get rid of it. It was the insurance for the husband she chose poorly. That car is still riding around today in the hills of Elroy. We are still trying to track it down. My sister's got a good lead on it, which would be awesome to meet that car. And I believe my mother is riding it today in heaven. Thank you. Number six, June the Virgo. Hi, June. The 1960s saw the formation of some of the greatest rock bands of all time. What 60s song or artist speaks to you and why? Ooh, great question. Um, for me, it would have to be Nancy Sinatra. Um, she was like the bad girl of the 60s. Um, she really used her womanhood to change the scape of pop music. And I think without her, it's safe to say that we wouldn't have Christina Aguilera without her. Thank you. I love that answer. Darling Avonlea May. What's more important, the body of the car or what's under the hood? You can tell us why. Well, you can't judge a book by its cover. You can look at something pretty and shiny and guess what's underneath. Or you can look at something that's not so pretty, it may not be your dream, and not know what's under that hood. All I'm going to say is, you're going to have to pull up next to me at the stoplight and you might just find out. <laughs> Goldie Frogs. Hello, Goldie. Iola always boasts a number of celebrity guests, and this year they have three cast members from the classic TV show, Happy Days. What's your favorite vintage TV show and why? Hello, friends. So, I got a question. Who can turn the world on with their smile? Who can take Help me out here. I'm nervous. Do you guys know the words? Who can turn the world on with her smile? Who can take a nothing day and suddenly seem to make it all worthwhile? I think it's go. Goldie yeah. Rocks. No, no, wait. It's it's Mary Tyler Moore. And um, I remember watching Mary Tyler Moore when I was young on Nick at Night. Is Nick at Night still a thing? Um, but she was such a symbol of female empowerment, and she, she really told us that 
you can do anything if you if you work for it. And um, cue hat moment. Thank you, Goldie. Thank Brooks. you, Goldie. Uh, Nick and I just still a thing, but I think they just play Friends now. Sunny Sida. Sunny, what does peanut what does pinup mean to you, and how is it exemplified at the Miss Iola Pinup Contest? Well, I would definitely say that pinup to me means a great way to have ladies that can just really express themselves and show other ladies how well they can be confident in their skins with everything else. And at Miss Iola, there's such a um, camaraderie when it comes to all of the ladies that grace the stage. And I think that we really try and show that everyone else as well. Great, thank you very much. Miss Chaos. Hi, Chaos. Hi. The Iola Car Show's theme this year is the meeting of the muscle. This is the perfect question for you, by the way. In your opinion, what's the most iconic muscle car and why? I'm going to go a little off record here on this one or off the side here. I actually like the 1969 AMX. It was built here in Wisconsin, in Kenosha. Let's keep it old school. Let's keep it here. So, what's your name? I love it. Corvette. The 1960s saw the formation of some of the greatest rock bands of all time. What 60s song or artist speaks to you and why? So I actually grew up listening to a lot of 60s music thanks to my parents. So this is actually really hard, but I would have to say the Beatles and almost their entire catalog speaks to me. All the way from like A Hard Day's Night to even like I Am The Walrus. It's just so eclectic, and as I see myself as pretty eclectic, as you know, trying out new things, especially trying out the pinup show, seeing all the different cars. So for me, the Beatles is the number one like 1960s fan for me. I 100% agree as with that. Yeah. Thank you, for <laughs> Cherry Pistol. Cherry. Hello. What's more important, the body of the car or what's under the hood and why? Well, with all things, beauty on the outside is great, but I think it's what is at the heart and the soul, not only a person, but also in a car. So I would say the motor. I like Thank it. You. Lacey McGillicuddy. Hi. Iola always boasts a number of celebrity guests, and this year they have three cast members from the classic TV show Happy Days. What is your favorite vintage TV show and why? Hi Iola, how are we doing today? Alright, my favorite vintage TV show always has been, always will be, I Love Lucy. I recently rewatched all the episodes, and 73 years later, it is still smart and funny. It, uh, it, to me, it set the standard for all sitcoms that followed. It, uh, uh, it oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so excited because I love Lucy. Um, it uh, paved the way for multicultural married couples to be on TV. It pioneered a new way of filming and uh, in front of a live studio audience. And it, it was the first TV show to be shown in reruns, which is why we still get to watch it today. And besides, who doesn't love Lucy? Thank you. Thank you. 
Sadie something. Hello, Sadie. Hello. What does pinup mean to you, and how is it exemplified at the Miss Iola pinup contest? Pinup means to me self care. As someone who is a natural introvert, it is so easy for me to burrow into my nest and not leave. Pinup motivates me to take care of myself. It challenges me to take chances and to put my heart out here. Now how this is embodied at Iola is that these girls taught me that self-love isn't selfish. They have such motivational, beautiful stories, and I have never met a group of more caring, genuine hearts. One more thing. It is a good excuse to get my husband to buy me more dresses. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sadie. All right, let's hear it for the round two contestants, everybody. Thank you, ladies. We're going to tally the scores, and we'll call you back out for the final round. Once again, ladies, you did a fantastic job. Loved your answers. Loved your energy. But unfortunately, the way this contest works is that only five of you can move on to the final round. And those five are... Goldie Frox. Lacey McGillicuddy. Sadie something. <laughs> Cherry Pistol. <laughs> and our last round three contestant, Sunny Side Up. <laughs> All right, let's give it up for the rest of the round two contestants as they head backstage. Okay, ladies, in no particular order, we're going to be asking you the round three question. Miss Goldie Frogs. Goldie, why should you be chosen as Miss Iola Blue Ribbon 2024? Okay. This is my fourth time answering this question for you, so believe me, I've thought long and hard. Maybe not by, why I should be, but why I want to be, and I'm going to tell you this. You are the reason I want to be Miss Iola. You guys. Iola was my fifth contest, and um, I placed top five, I didn't win a sash or crown or anything, and I stepped off that stage, and you guys made me believe I won. You, you just enveloped me with so much support, so much love, encouragement, pictures. Um, some of you bought sewing machines, and that's the biggest compliment I could ever get. And um, it meant the world to me. I, I walked off that stage not winning, but I realized I actually did win. And every year I've come back and been on this stage, and I've won. I've won something, and I've won it with you guys. And you guys showed me that this is how I want to be out in the world. I want to invest in people the way you invested in me, the way you believed in me. And I tried to put that forth here in the pinup world. And I hope I do a good enough job. So, thank you. Let's hear it for Goldie Frost. Lacey McGillicuddy. Lacey, why should you be Miss Iola Blue Ribbon? Well, first, it would be such an honor to be chosen, but I think I should be chosen because I want to represent women of a certain age. Yeah. Um, we live in a society that tends to value youth, and they kind of disregard women after the age of, like, 40. And what they forget is, with age comes wisdom. Every wrinkle is from experience. Every gray hair has a story. I want to show women, older women that 
you're not obsolete after a certain age, that you can and should take center stage. And what better place to do that than at the iconic Iola Carr show? Besides, at the age of 54, I'm like the cars at Iola. I just keep getting better with age. Thank you. Thank you, Lacey McGillicuddy. Sadie something. Hi, Sadie. Hi. Why should you be chosen, Miss Iola Blue Ribbon? Well, first of all, I'm honestly just bluebird happy to be here. And I wouldn't say that I should win Miss Iola, but I am going to say that I want to win Miss Iola Blue Ribbon. And that is very hard for me to say because I was raised to be humble, to be quiet, and to never lift my own tail. But I've put so much work into learning about pinup and learning how to value myself over the last few years. I come from a place where I was bullied in high school for being different. And I had no self-esteem, but I did dream in Technicolor and I wanted to fly. But uh, I let my wings stay clipped. So I want to win Miss Iola for that little girl inside me who has worked so hard to learn how to fly and to encourage everyone out there to listen to that quiet chirping in your heart and soar. Thank you. Thank you, Sadie something. Cherry Pistol. Cherry, why should you be crowned Miss Iola Blue Ribbon? Hello, Iola. Um, I personally think that I, well, I want to be Miss Iola. This is a contest that I've been watching for years, a show, a car show I've been attending since I was a little girl. Um, my dad used to bring me and my siblings here all the time, always had a blast. Great community, great people. It's always a fun time. You build such a great family here. You build such a good family with all the pinup girls up on stage as well. Um, I think it would just be an honor to represent such a great show and such a great community. Thank you. It's here for Cherry Pistol. And finally, Sunny Sign Up. Sunny. Why should you be chosen Miss Iowa Blue Ribbon? Well, oh goodness. Um, honestly, I will be honest with this. I'm probably okay with not winning. And that's fine, because I'm so glad to be up here on stage with all of these ladies who have shown me so much over the years and teach me something new every time I get on this stage with them. And it's, I'm just so happy to even just be here, and I'm so happy that my little nephews out there can finally see the anti a little further than before every time. And that's my answer. I'm so proud of you! Well, thank you very much, ladies. One last time for the round three contestants. Go ahead and head backstage and we'll tally up the scores. All right, let's hear it for these wonderful contestants this year. We have Shannon Brooke all the way from Sacramento, California, here to crown our top three girls. All her books are for sale right here at the Working Class Publishing booth or if you just want to come take a peek. If you look in the book, though, you're going to want to buy it. Just saying. Today's your opportunity to get one signed by Shannon herself. Thank hey, I'll it. even sign them, too. I'm in there. Oh, yeah. Jenny's in two of those. So get some books signed, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us on stage, Shannon. We're going to crown the winners. In third place, Miss Hot Rod Honey. Goldie Frocks. In 
second place, Miss Iola Custom Cutie, Cherry Pistol. I'm so excited. It was my fifth time doing it. I never placed before and now I won and my skirt is going to blow up over my head soon. Okay, thank you. Hi guys and welcome to Miss Iola 2024. I'm Miss Cherry Devine, your judge for Miss Iola 2024. I'm actually Miss Blue Ribbon 2023. It was a very close race and we just enjoyed all the ladies and we rooted all of them on. But again, and I'm here with Miss Cherry Pistol who was first runner up so for Miss Iola 2024, so hopefully um, some things are in the works and I might actually be hosting Miss Iola 2025. So, you know, hopefully you guys can come back out and thank you for watching. Thank you. John Yao Media.